just outside my window here, I've got a telescope in a small observatory. And I go out and I look at Andromeda with its 100 billion stars. And I'm fascinated by the physics of how those stars are born, grow old and die and how the universe expands. But there's something else. There's a beauty in that. And that to me reflects the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God. And I wonder at that. And so it increases my faith and trust in the magnificence of God as creator. Or I love the science of the natural world. And my faith in the biblical worldview adds a major dimension to that because I understand from the Bible that God has set me and the rest of us as stewards of that creation. So there's a meaningful cooperation. Peace be that to people who think that Christianity is against stewardship of creation, not at all, absolutely for it. And that gives strong motivation to look after the planet, its ecology, and all the rest of it. I, I'm also amazed at the discoveries of medicine, but medicine cannot tell me that humans are made in the image of God. And I'll not forget very quickly uh, watching Jordan Peterson the the Canadian psychologist and public intellectual uh, talking about Genesis. He does fascinating lectures on it, but he came to the statement, human beings are made in the image of God. And he stopped and he said, man, that's the heart of all civilized thinking. It's the basis of our morality and all the rest of it. And then he paused and he said, we neglect it at our peril. So that there's a consonance here. Science is uncovering the wonder. And God is the one to which that wonder is pointing. And it seems to me it's a tragedy to admire the planet and being thankful for it without knowing who to say thank you to.